In this video, I'll show you how the Mini Console Plus connects to computers and consoles. I'll remove the Super Nintendo gamepad, which you see plugged into the DB15 port. We're not interested in gamepad inputs for now. For this video, we're interested in the ports on the other end. Here you can see a USB port and an RGA45 port. We'll start with the USB. This is a standard USB Type B extension cable. Connect that here. And the Mini Console Plus connects to a host of USB based systems such as PC, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, Raspberry Pi, PlayStation 3. We just connect the USB cable. Straightforward stuff. We can use the same USB output to connect to an original Xbox by adding an adapter cable. These are simple cables with no electronics. Just connect up to the Xbox and the other end to the USB port on the Mini Console Plus. The Mini Console Plus will detect that it's connected to an Xbox and automatically switch to use Xbox USB protocol. Mini Console Plus is not just about USB though. There is an RJ45 port which we can use to connect to other systems such as PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. The PlayStation extension cable is modified to have an RJ45 plug at one end and that connects to the Mini Console Plus. These cables are simple to make and we'll also be supplying them should you need one. The same PlayStation cable can be used to connect to other systems by adding a third party converter. For example, here is a PlayStation to Xbox 360 converter. PlayStation cable plugs into the converter, into the 360. So now we're good for Xbox 360. We can use the RJ45 port to connect to a Wiimote. This allows us to output to Wii and Wii U systems wirelessly. This is a modified Wiimote extension cable with RJ45 plug at one end. Connects to the Wiimote and then to the Mini Console Plus. Finally, we made it possible for you to connect to older consoles like NES, SNES, Mega Drive, Neo Geo. This multi-out board connects to RJ45. And then we use an adapter cable to connect to the console. So this SNES adapter connects to the RJ45. Here we have a 9-pin extension cable which we can use to connect to a variety of different consoles, including Mega Drive. So we'll connect the 9 pin end to the multi out. There we go.